My team don't know what's coming. In fact, it's only me that knows. But I have something very important to say. MSIPs, I'm very sad to announce that a very special, valued and important member of our team, Gareth Brown, oh my goodness, I'm going to get emotional, <laughs> is leaving the Scottish Youth Parliament. And even sadder to say that today is Gareth's last day. Now, I don't want to embarrass Gareth. In fact, that's an absolute lie, I do. <laughs> I very much do. Gareth, please come up on the stage. <laughs> surprising character, in fact a very surprising character, I'm sorry Gareth. As you may have discovered over the course of this weekend, Gareth is absolutely in love with a fluffy dog called Watson. Coincidentally, MSYPs, Watson has been very busy on his travels. From earlier this week, travelling around the capital of Edinburgh to being here at SYP 58 in East Renfrewshire, it's been a very busy time for Watson. And my hope is that he'll decide to go home with Gareth today. So, some other things about Gareth that you may want to know. Gareth is actually a trained cage fighter with one proper bout under his belt. He's getting mortified, this is great. Whilst I was hopeful from a tune from him today to prove it, I can also share exclusive with you, exclusively with you that Gareth is also a trained classical singer who can't help singing in a choral style, even when he's singing One Direction. When I was preparing a recent video to film, Gareth said to me, Jordan, you're great at getting the message across. We just need to work on your delivery. Don't preach. Only Gareth can deliver that with the care and compassion. A very own mix, I think. So I hope you don't mind me sharing, but I want to say this. Gareth has been a huge part of my life at SYP. From supporting me as an MSYP, always been welcome and funny, to supporting me in my role as procedures group member and subsequently the chair of that group, and now of course as the chair of the organisation. Gareth has not only been uh, supportive professionally, but has helped shape the type of person I am today. He's made a huge personal contribution to me, and I thank him for that. Gareth is everything you'd want in a colleague, smart, funny, loyal, dedicated. We are all absolutely gutted to lose him, and I know that he will go on to do amazing things in the future. MSIP's support workers and staff. Thank you, Gareth Brown. and what's around the corner for us as an organisation. We've been working hard to develop a new strategic plan for this organisation. Embedded within it are the principles that underline, protect and deliver the rights of young people, as stated in the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. This three-year approach will allow for a stronger, more secure and productive future for this youth parliament. At the absolute centre of this plan is a determination to enhance our engagement with all of Scotland's young people and to build on and expand the participation and involvement of MSYPs in decision making at community, local and national level. Over the next few months we will be working hard to embed this and ensure that SYP is seen as the go-to organisation and the leading force in the promotion and defence of the rights of young people in Scotland. You, the members of the Scottish Youth Parliament, define who we are and what we do as an organisation and what we can achieve. Just as there is no limits to what you can aspire to and achieve, so too are there no limits for us as a collective organisation. Over the next few months, the conveners will be working hard with their staff team to develop a comprehensive MSYP-led campaign strategy so that we can hit the ground running and with a bang when we launch the mental health campaign that you have chosen in January 2016. With a new year comes new ambitions and new aspirations. Over the next few weeks we will know the outcome of the Lead the Way manifesto consultation. This is a defining moment in the history of the Scottish Youth Parliament. Our membership will have the opportunity to launch a manifesto that will last for the next five years. Your work in the final weeks to ensure as many young people as possible participate will provide Lead the Way with the strongest and largest democratic mandate in the Scottish Youth Parliament's history and the largest ever youth consultation here in Scotland. I refer to one of our sayings that I often associated with us in my opening remarks yesterday. SIP is a little about politics and a lot about you. 
Be part of an organisation and represent the views of constituents is as much about your development as a person and as an individual as anything else. It's about the experiences you have, the friends you make and the change you bring about. Make the most of it. Take every opportunity that comes to you. Make your own opportunities. When we think together, stand together and believe together, we can achieve together. Over the last few years we have together achieved a huge amount. But of course now is not the time to be complacent. There are major opportunities on the horizon, such as the Scottish Parliament elections next year. That is a huge opportunity for us to ensure that the voices of young people are heard and our views are accounted for by Scottish politicians in the years ahead. So here is my challenge to you. Let's all of us work together to make sure that all of the political parties and all of the candidates in May's election know where we stand. Every one of you can play your part in that by talking to every MSP candidate about the issues and lead the way and make sure that the voices of young people are heard. And now for something quite exciting. Drum roll, please. Oh. I am delighted to admit that the 59th national sitting of the Scottish Youth Parliament will be held on 13th and 14th of March 2016 in the Scottish Borders. <laughs> we will be in touch with everyone over the next few weeks with more details and members' motion suggestions will open in December. The March 2016 setting will also include the Scottish Youth Parliament Awards and nominations will be opening in November. So start thinking about who you'd like to nominate to receive an award at this celebration of your first year as an MSYP. I want to end by thanking you all for the passion and enthusiasm that you have demonstrated this weekend. I look forward to hearing about all of the amazing work which you are doing over the next few weeks. I'd encourage you to please keep in contact with your regional board portfolio members to keep us informed of the incredible things which you are doing across the country to make a difference to the lives of Scotland's young people. Thank you all for a truly special weekend. You have been fantastic. And I'm getting emotional again. I hope that you feel as energised as I do by all that we have achieved over the last couple of days and that, like me, can't wait to get started on the work that is about to begin. Every single one of you is making a real and tangible difference to the lives of Scotland's young people through all of your hard work. As you travel home, I hope you remember that. I hope that you take pride in it. And I hope you continue to work as hard as you can to deliver a brighter future for every young person in this country. See you all soon.